So hey guys, and this is going to be my very first proper makeup tutorial. I've done like get ready with me's and stuff, but I've never actually done a makeup makeup tutorial. Now I am filming on my brand new camera recorder, so bear with me because it does some random things. Like it just wouldn't go in focus when I was doing my eyes, but you know, we bear with that sort of thing. So yeah, um, have you, if you have any questions, leave it below. I don't know the name of my camera, but it'll probably be floating around here somewhere. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is take your foundation of choice. I'm going to be using the number 7 Beautifully Matte um, foundation just because I quite like the coverage of this at the moment and obviously it is matte so it's a really good one if you want it to last all day and not look too oily. Um, to apply it at first I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush, which one is this? This is the Pointed Foundation brush which is from the Core Collection. Um, I only got these yesterday actually for Christmas so um, still trying to work out how it's best to use them, but I think so far I'm using this one to apply it and then my buffer brush to buff it all out. So I'm just going to take my Fashionista palette thing as a mirror and, and do that. I've just got it onto my skin. I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush, which is also from the Core Collection, and just buff it all in a bit more. If you need to add some more foundation, do so, because I think I haven't got enough quite yet. So I'm just going to apply it directly to the buffing brush, to this, just because I don't need to add it in a specific place. So just kind of all over extra coverage. Next now, foundation's done, we're going to move on to concealer. And for concealer, I'm going to be using my number 7 Instant Radiance... Um, Instant Radiance Concealer, um, my number 7, and it's just got like a little pump at one end and a little applicator thing at the other, so I'm just going to pump like once, I suppose, and apply some, I'm just going to take it under my eyes, up into the inside of my nose a little bit. And just on anywhere I think I've got some kind of blemishes that haven't been covered by the foundation. So just around here. I wear this concealer in the shade whatever that is. One eye. I don't really know what it is. And I'm just going to blend it using my... this finger. That one. The, that one. <laughs> there. And here. Yeah. I like this concealer because it blends really well into this foundation in particular. So now concealer's done, I'm just going to take my H&M kind of big fluffy brush thing. Um, not a huge fan of this, but it's all I've got at the moment to do it, so. And I'm just going to take this, oops, I'm just going to take this Miss Sporty So Clear press powder basically in shade 001 transparent. I'm just trying to use this up, so. It's kind of a bit broken, as you can probably tell, but I'm trying to use it up so I can get rid of it because I hate wasting products and because I go through powders so quickly, I hate wasting them especially. Now to contour my cheeks, I'm going to be using my contour brush by Real Techniques with my bronzer from MUA in shade 3. Um, I like this because it's quite, it's not very full on bronzer, it's just kind of like quite sheer and it has a matte finish so I'm just going to take some on there and I'm just going to start up here. And then I'm going to repeat with the other side. Now next I'm going to take my angled blush brush by whatever this is, by them, <laughs> and I'm going to be taking, which brush am I going to take? This one, Sweet Cheeks by Natural Collections. It's quite a pigmented brushy blush, so you've got to be a bit quite careful. So I'm just going to take like a tiny little dab to blow off any extra product. Smile and simply apply there. Now 
I love this blush because it gives a very kind of, um, it looks almost like you've gone out and it's really cold and your cheeks have all gone a bit pink. It just gives that kind of flushed look I like. Now, last of all of my cheeks, I'm just going to take this Fashionista blush here, which is called New York. Um, it's a really pretty kind of shimmery, can I show you? No, you won't be able to see because the sun's behind me. But it's just this really pretty kind of shimmery pink, which just gives a really sheen, a nice sheen to your cheeks. And you do need quite a lot of this because it's very sheer. So I'm just going to get a lot of my brush, load it all up. And now I'm going to take, and it's kind of highlighted too, so I'm just going to take it all up my cheek. And I like this because it's very easy to use and you can be really heavy handed with it because it is very sheer, sheer, sheer and it gives a nice sheen. Now we're going to start on my eyes and the first product I'm going to use is this MUA Professionals Eye Primer on my eyes. So I'm just going to take, I always think with eye primer it's best to use more than less because you really want your eyeshadow to stay on. And this is my favourite eye primer ever, it's only £2.50 and it does the job perfectly. And this has lasted me for ages as well, I, I bought the, this eye primer back in April, a April I think. And I've only just bought myself a backup because I thought I was running out but I think it's got a bit of use left in it. So... Yeah, it doesn't really matter if it gets on your eyelashes a little bit because I also think it helps to keep my mascara on a little bit longer. And my camera keeps going out of focus, so I don't really know what's up with that. But yes, the first actual shadow I'm going to be using is from the Heaven and Earth palette from MUA, and it's this very first shade here. They don't have shade numbers, but if they were numbered, it would be shade one. I'm just going to get loads of it because it isn't the very, it isn't the most pigmented eyeshadow I've ever used. I must admit. And I'm going to take it on this um, flat eyeshadow brush thing. Or on my finger, if because it's not very pigmented, so I sometimes find it's actually easier to just use your, your finger. So that's what I'm going to use today. And just a tiny bit in the inner corner tear duct thing. So, yeah. Whoa, back in focus camera. Next, I'm going to take my Sleek Storm palette. Um, mine has definitely seen better days because it's all crumpled and broken. But anyway, we can get through that. I'm going to take the <laughs> this shade here, which is the second one on the top row. Very shimmery kind of, I want to say champagne colour. I'm just going to go over that first colour. You could probably just get away with just using this colour, but I, I like to do both because I think the other colour is a little bit brighter. And this colour is more shimmery. And I just take it under my eye a little bit. Oh my god, what are you doing camera? Sorry about the focusing. What are you doing? Let me further away with that. Okay, sort of in focus. I do apologise for my camera having tantrums. I can't really control it, and it's new, so I don't really know how to work it. Um. So yeah, that's the first bit I'm going to do. Next up, I'm just going to. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, panic. I'm going to take, whoa, focus, focus, I'm going to take um, from my sneaker palette again, these two colours here, the pink and the red one. You could also use the MUA Undressed palette for this and take shade 2, which is this one, and then put the other palette down, so I have two hands. You could use shade 2, which is that on there, and then this one down here, which is shade 9, shade 9. So those are quite similar, but I'm just going to use these ones because I think they're a little bit richer in colour and I like how they're more of a creamy formula. But I do really love my Undress palette, I must admit. So I'm just going to take the lighter pink one on the brush and just go all over the outer corner of my eye. Uh, 
Um, and repeat with the other eye. Like so. So it's just at the moment it's kind of like a subtle pink. So if you weren't going, if you don't really want to go for the full on berry, you could just stop at this stage and do the liner, which I'm going to show you how to do in a minute. But I really like a full on berry look. So I'm going to take this H&M brush, which is like a double ended, I think it's called the smoky eye brush. Um, and it's got like this fluffy end on this end, and then it's got like an eyeliner end on this end. I do really like this fluffy end and the eyeliner end actually, I think this is quite a good brush for 199 so I'm just going to take the fluffy end, this one here, and I'm just going to take this right on the outer corner of my eye. I need quite a lot I think because I really want this to be quite intense. Look. And just blend it into your crease like so. Do the exact same but with the other eye. <laughs> you can see with your eyes that you think you've gone a bit too far over the eye, then just go back to your light shade again and just kind of go back over the top of where the berry shade is and it will just kind of cancel out a bit and tone it down a lot, which is what I've done a bit because I think I put I brought it too far across the eye. I kind of like to go in line with my pupil, try and make sure that it's only half of the eye at the most and it's kind of blends in rather than it just being like a solid line so you want to make it look quite natural and smoky and not too full on I suppose so I think that's it oh, also another thing to mention is when using purple you've got to be really um, careful that you don't blend it out too much up here because then you'll just look like you've got a black eye which I think I kind of did on this side so I've tried to blend it and... so the next step really now is to just take a matte black eyeshadow and a um, angled eyeliner brush thing. I'm going to use the matte black one out of the Sleek palette, the Sleek Storm palette. I'm just going to load up this brush with um, eyeshadow and I'm just going to kind of half close my eye and have a mirror ready so you can see what you're doing. And start to pat on the eyeshadow in an eyeliner kind of form. You could use liquid, gel, pencil, whatever. I'm just not really... My liquid eyeliner I have choice, which is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes eyeliner, it has run out at the moment and I'm... So I'm just using this instead, because I think it's a bit more subtle. I don't think it's as big and deep and bold as an actual liquid eyeliner is, which I quite like at the moment. Sorry if I keep going out of shot and trying to do it carefully. You just want to kind of push it into your eyelash line to make it look really solid. And if you want to wing it out, of course, go ahead. I'm going to do a tiny wing out there, so it's just a little bit of a wing. But yeah, that's the um, eyeshadow part. Next step is, of course, to do your eyebrows. Now, I would usually fill mine in, but I really can't be bothered today, so I'm going to take the Natural Collections Clear Mascara, which I've had for ages and it's probably dead, but I use this as an eyebrow setting gel, so I'm just going to comb my eyebrows through a little bit and shape them how I want them to be shaped, they're really badly need of um, plucking at the moment, so I hope you don't mind. But yeah, so that's that. Now next is mascara. Um, I have been switching up my mascara a lot recently between uh, Benefit's Bad Girl Lash and this one by MUA, which is the Mega... is it this way around? Yeah, Mega Volume Mascara in Black. Focus. But yeah, this is a new mascara that I got and I hauled it with my MUA haul. So I'm just going to use this um, to show you guys what it looks like on the eye. I just think the formula is quite liquidy to this mascara. But at the same time, I quite like it. I have got quite long dark eyelashes anyway, so I'm probably not the best person to be talking about mascara because I quite frankly miss it out some days by accident because I just don't notice if I've got it on or not. But I think you can definitely tell that there's, there's a difference between these two eyes. 
Yeah, you can. I haven't lined this one either, but you can see there's a different difference. So the last thing you want to consider is what lipstick you want to wear. And I just wanted to show you my new lipstick container because I think it's super cute. It is this old Noddy lunchbox that I had when I was a child and, well, when I was little. And it's so cute. It's just like a yellow lunchbox. And I've just thrown them all in there. So, and there's a lip liner in there too. So, um, I think with this, I had a really dark, I had this one on yesterday the Kate Moss Winter Collection in shade 107 which is this really deep colour but you could probably wear pretty much any lipstick with this maybe not a bubblegum pink but I think it would look really nice with a nude one maybe like this one from the Kate Moss Collection in either 80 or 08 I don't actually know which way up it is and it's just kind of like a plain nudie colour but you know I think anything would go I think even a bright red like this one from MUA might go quite well or Maybe a pink, like, raspberry from Natural Collections. Maybe that would go nicely. But, you know, any lipstick. I'm going to be taking the Kate Moss one, like I said a minute ago. I'm just going to take this. Um, I need a mirror, because I can't do it without a mirror. Mirror, 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 mirror. So, I'm just going to apply this onto my lips. I hate the smell of these and the taste. The, the Winter Collection one's the nicest taste ever. hate the smell of these, but I'm just going to wear it, because I think it will go nicely. So yeah, that is the makeup look that I have done to you today. I kind of want to call it like a cranberry kind of something cranberries look because it, to me, it kind of looks very Christmassy, wintry, fall, if you're American, winter, autumn, that sort of look. You could wear it any time of year anyway, but you know. Sorry, I had to stop filming my little outro there, but yeah. So, um... Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe which is now below and leave me any comments if you recreate this look, tweet me a picture um, or leave a video response or anything like that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.